audience had a couple questions. How did that come about? What was your reaction to learning? Oh my gosh, I am singing a song for Disney. That's going to be the anthem like for so many millions of people. Oh my god. Well, I would say like you know, my career has been very like if you look at the highlights of anybody's career, you're like that's unreal. But really, all I did was do the same thing over and over again until randomly doors opened. And the guy that hired me at Carnival Cruise Lines, my first job ever as a full time musician, I told them I do 300 songs. I do like 50. But I persevered and I like had a blast doing it. He moved to Disney. He called me, you know, a little bit after I was on The Voice and I was still touring, still touring bars at the time. And he's like, hey, can you come demo something for me? And so my one day off, I drove seven hours, go demo it. He called me a few weeks later and says, hey, you're going to be the new voice of The Fireworks Show with Jordan Fisher. And I just, I was just shocked. I was like, what? And uh, we got to, the next thing I know, I'm singing it with Jordan next to me. He's, we're hugging each other in front of like freaking. Castle at Walt Disney World for 65,000 people it was unreal. It was amazing. What was your first reaction to seeing the full show of your voice? I couldn't even imagine. Oh, it's, honestly, the coolest part about Disney is they understand what is meaningful. And I think that's why their whole job is so good. I mean, Disney knows what's meaningful. And they knew that, like, there's something amazing about reaching a goal. But when you reach a goal and you're surrounded by people that love you, it's even better. So they invited my whole family down, put us up at the Animal Kingdom, uh, gave us VIP passes so we never had to stand in line, which is amazing because I had one sister special needs and she sometimes gets nervous staying in line. And so we just skipped all the lines. We got to see Pandora before it was open. And so there's only like Zoe Saldana and the stars there. From this, oh, I it, saying it doesn't even feel real. It, it, like I said, like it's it's it reminds me that like when you want to make an impact, it's not about being the best singer, the best band, or whatever. It's like knowing what means something to people, and if it means like you know when somebody wants me to sing Happy Birthday to a friend, I'm always gonna do it because if it's something that's meaningful, it matters. And it's like you like you know you make a, a, a life out of a living. And I appreciate you on TikTok so much and your personality <laughs> on there. And then also this song is kind of like taking a life of its own. And it's crazy to hear your voice when I'm just scrolling through and then, oh, there you are. So what's like your favorite Disney memory or maybe a video you've seen with your song background? Yeah, I mean, I'm actually working potentially on a project with Disney coming up. I can't talk a lot about, but that'll be really cool to talk about uh, soon. Uh, but I would say my favorite Disney moment, I mean, it's hard to beat in front of 65,000 people at the fireworks, playing the biggest fireworks show in the United States playing behind you while you're singing a song that you recorded. That's, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to hear your new music, and I'm so excited.